He's a, he, yo, he's about to shoot them with a ball. Watch. Into a forest. Much bigger than I thought it was actually. She's got a lot. No. No, one person does not own this entire island. No. Out of space for being. No, Do not take what can Yeah, all the voices. Like, I, of course, I'd like to be camping and shit, but being alone in the woods at night. Stop it. Stop it. Hey, YouTube. Um, you know, it's been a while, you know? When was the last time I reacted to a video, you know? If you hear something real quick, it's because I opened up the video I'm gonna react to. Um, yeah, you're gonna be hearing that as I do the intro. But, you know, it's been a while since I've really, you know, reacted to a video. Titan. I can see what's going on. up first five my fault anyways yeah it's been a really really long time since i've reacted to videos um in point de pierre by the time y'all see this right oh my god shut the f by the time y'all see this by the way um i'm gonna just show y'all right now because you guys are probably not gonna believe me but i want to say that i finished spider-man 2 right I finished it like over a week ago. By the time y'all see this, part 11 is going to be uploaded tomorrow. Today is the 22nd. Just in case y'all don't believe me, but I beat Spider Man 2. I'll tell you right now. I beat it November 12th. Yeah, I beat it November 12th. Anyways, I'm going to say, I'm going to mention all that in the final, but you know, let's just ignore what I'm talking about. Yeah, last, let's say last walkthrough. I said walkthrough. Bro, last, oh my God, this shit got 32 views. Last reaction I posted was on October 11th. It's November 20, November 22 right now. But, um, yeah, this was a, a really long intro for absolutely no reason. As y'all can tell by the title of the video, we are going to be reacting to a video called, hold on, before I even do all of that, let me, like YouTube, there's a lot of videos I'm, I'm reacting to. I've already been, um, Streaming for three hours and 42 minutes. I was just playing Fortnite. But yeah, YouTube, as y'all can tell by the title and probably thumbnail of this video, I'm going to be reacting to a video from Yes Theory. We are going to be reacting to finding the world's loneliest person. Now, you know, the most obvious joke would be, I'm right here, you know what I mean? I'm the world's loneliest person, but you know, I, I just feel like that's a corny ass joke. I feel like everybody will say that joke. Anyways, this was a really, really long intro, and I apologize, but you know, let's just into the video, you know. Now, why is he the like world's loneliest person? Is this a hobbit? We spent four months searching. He's a hobbit. He's like probably the last hobbit in the world. That's why I like he's a... You said how many hours? Four months? We've spent four months searching. What took y'all so long to find him? Or were y'all really looking for him? Or y'all just like... To find stories of extreme solitude and oh, what brought these months. humans okay. to such fates. Okay. I thought y'all was like... Four months searching for him, you know. As you can imagine, by definition, the loneliest people on Earth don't have much connection to the outside world. Mm -hmm. And are close to impossible to contact. Yeah. With many leads over the last few months that led us nowhere, we finally found three people who were willing to let us into their unique lives. And hopefully oh, take but... us closer to understanding... It says finding the world's loneliest person. The nuanced we're... concept... We're going to run loneliness. into three people? Loneliness is a universal phenomenon, right? Like we've all felt it a little bit at some point. But the evidence really suggests that beyond just our psychology, loneliness is affecting our physical health. It's affecting the way our bodies function. It might even be affecting our longevity and how much we live. So it's a real really? public health crisis. To find these people, we're traveling to the northern mountains of Italy. We are going 
far. I've been on a oh, train for there, yeah. seven hours, and we're still and dead an one hour go over there. That's the Alpha Al, Al Mafi Coast, Sweden. by the way. We are meeting up with a 20-year-old guy who has been Sweden. living in the woods for oh, three years. And the islands of Greece. Whose sole inhabitant of Shout out one of his islands we couldn't even nah. make direct contact with. Yeah, I see someone walking. We took a leap towards these three adventures in the hopes that despite their years and for one of them decades of solitude, that they'd still welcome us into their homes. Our goal is to understand these people's lives and what they've but had. If they're like the from loneliest in the like in the world, the world how do you find them? Loneliness, how are some surviving on their own? And what can we learn from humans who have spent so much time in solitude? Northern Italy. Okay. Okay, let's go find our man somewhere in the woods. <laughs> oh, so you find another person in the we woods. We can't drive further, so the rest part we will have to walk. We brought a whole block of cheese and some salami. We got some wine, wine too. <clears throat> Fine wine. Local wine. When was the last time you think he drank wine? If he's, electricity. you know. I'm assuming he doesn't have a fridge. That's his house. This one local here. Yeah, I'm assuming he's us never left his crib. Like, gonna leave us. Oh. I don't think he's ever gone 20 feet wow. past his crib. <laughs> Is he hiding behind the tree? <laughs> Buongiorno. 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 That means good morning. Buongiorno. Uh, you see, I knew that means good morning because I went to Italy this year. So I... He has so much life in his eyes. Like, for real, he's so yeah. energetic. And like, so I, I, I want to know everything about him now. This is his home with his sheep. <laughs> Hi, guys. You think he'd be killing the sheep? I'm sorry, I don't know why I asked that question. Flaminio has lived alone at the edge of the mountains for over 50 years. His contact with the outside world was close to non-existent for decades, but in recent years has had one man as a connection to the nearby village. A village that he himself hasn't been to in over 20 years. Okay, Why his you see, like I was going to ask that. Like, how is he really the lo most loneliest person in the world if he's like, you know, right over that village? Like, I'm over here thinking people are like walking by his house saying, hello. You know how you doing and stuff like that, but he's jacking that he ain't been over. He been over there since as long as I've I've been alive. Twenty one, by the way. It's been so extreme. I know he said twenty. What his life looks like today is a complete a video. mystery to us. And although he had originally seemed reluctant to have us come visit, as we arrived, he welcomed us. Yeah, he was like world. mad. Welcome. Wow. And although we brought wine as a gift for him, he clearly had other plans. Oh, we're opening the wine? <laughs> okay. okay. 9 a.m. is always a good time to open a bottle of wine, right? I can't remember if I ever drank in wine 10 a.m. in my life ever. And I really, yeah, yeah, I don't really get lit like that. <laughs> Quickly, dude. Being so slow right now, it's really frustrating. Flaminio, <laughs> grazie mille for having me. Does he even know what a camera is? Grazie, boy. Grazie, man. Grazie, venire qua. Far cosa? Non venite più, se no vi faccio lavorare. Can't believe I'm freaking drinking wine for breakfast right now. Dai, che sono stanco io, vai. Fammi laura. He's tired. He wants to drink. Yeah. It's 9 a.m. Dai, mangiate, eh? Se no, cadete in terra, eh? Ah, viva laura, salve. Yo, he's lit. I'm not gonna do his lit. Yo, what's that Drake lyric? <laughs> Three days later. Further into Flaminio's world, we wanted to introduce you to our second character. I want to know who Flaminio is. Twenty-year-old guy who has been living in the woods for three years. I feel like all of us wish we were. You're gonna tell me that this nigga was seventeen, and then. He decided, hey, I want to live in the woods. Survival I guess, bro. The reality would all last about a week. Yeah. If modern society collapsed, I'm just going, now I know where he lives. I'm coming to you. <laughs> First of you, Santos. So uh, this is uh, how it should look like when you arrive. It sounds like he's like muffled his voice. Yeah, it sounds like he doesn't want us to find him. Like, uh, from that video, it doesn't even like you don't you don't even need to hear how he sounds like to find him. Like you can't even see where that shit's at. He parked the car here, and then yeah. he just pointed toward the forest here. 
<laughs> are, you, are you kidding? No, no, I, this is the right direction. You're f***ing with us, right? No, I'm not Wait, through. really? He's not coming to get us? Where did he point? Well, he pointed to this direction out in the forest. This is the alley we're gonna go into, or the park. Dude, car. it's this one. Okay, follow me. He was saying that way. That was his intuition. Stefan yeah. wanted us to cross the street. <laughs> you he was literally him. gonna send us the opposite direction. Oh, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Those of been... you who have been with us for a while, you'll know that Matt, one of the originals of Yes Theory, stepped away for a while. He needed a break about? for his mental health. Okay. And he explains where it's he's been and why he needed this break in this video, linked in the description. While away, okay. he wrote our Yes Theory book, which he poured blood, sweat, and tears into uh, yeah, and okay. finished. We'll be proudly releasing this book on November 19th in less oh, so than two months. After so this year, however, so he's out. decided to officially step away from videos. But in Yes Theory fashion, we decided that we cannot let him leave without a last run. Like leave, for, leave so, for good? In celebration of our friendship and what he's brought to this channel and community, he'll be joining us in adventures over the next few months. He has also launched a podcast on our podcast channel called Matt's Going Away Party, where he brings everyone closer to how things have gone for us behind the scenes more than ever before. It goes into detail. Well, but I really jacked him in Yes, in yes Theory, bro. Loneliness is his first video of his final series of trips with Yes Theory. We're okay. really going straight into the woods with the direction of go straight. He's a, he, yo, he's about we to shoot them with a bow, watch. Into a forest after driving for hours through farmland. Oh. He probably got <laughs> traps set up and shit. I don't think so. Is it? Yeah. There's somebody hello, here. Hello. <laughs> oh. Hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> I had a feeling he had a dog. I just knew he had a dog. Wow. How's it going? Hi, Stefan. Too much. And you just walked out from the forest and found us. Yeah, could you could you sense us that we were? Yeah, I heard you. <laughs> yeah, he knew. He already knew, bro. He got eyes and ears, bro. The birds came and told him, like, oh wow. Oh shit. Oh, he 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 got a log, bro. That's not a stick. Bro, what happens to the quality of the video, bro? Where is my cursor? There it is. Stop it. Wow. Come on, 24k. Talk to me. Eric Gronqvist is a young Swede who spent the last several years building his dream cabin alone okay. in the woods of Sweden with the dream of learning how to become fully self-sufficient. Fully self-sufficient. He only initially started to document his journey on the side, but his YouTube channel about his unique endeavors has now reached tens of millions on the platform. Yo, when you're talking about the world's loneliest person, I'm thinking that they complete... I isolated they, they completely isolated they live in complete isolation like is he really lonely if he's making youtube vids like i know you're not really present with these people but bro you post it online like i don't know i guess i'm just making a no channel sense. you may have come across yourself actually finding yeah, a young person who spent as much time in solitude yet seems to be enjoying it is rare these days and as he doesn't speak much in his own videos, we were very eager to understand his choices and how he handles the solitude. When did you start this? Yeah, when I was just about to turn 18. 18. So 17 and then now I'm 22, so a little bit more than years. I mean, how much of this did you know how to make before you started? Uh, well, probably like nothing. Really? Yeah. So you learned, no. literally <laughs> learned hunting, building a house and filming yeah. all at once. Yeah, I had to, so. And you're 22 years old. Dude, can we check it yeah, out? Yeah, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, so here's the, wow, the door that I made. The door, what? It's like a Viking door. Yeah. I mean, his name is Eric. That's a Viking name. Every piece we see. Shout out to all the Eric's out there. Created or brought here in some way. Yeah. About 99 of all the materials is either created by me from this land or that I've reused. It's just the nails and the concrete for the, the fireplace and stuff like that I bought. So it didn't cost that much actually. Really? Wow. Yeah. So when you were 18, you were majoring in science, you said, yes. in high school, and you decided to completely leave it to start building this. Yeah. Was there a moment that that happened? So everybody expected me to just keep on studying and mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I felt a little bit uh, stuck in that path. And then I saw Yo, the- Good for you, gang. 
film about Dick Pranicki, who uh, built his own life in Alaska. There's a documentary, Alone in the Wilderness, and that really got me inspired because he just basically just moved out there and then he could just live off the land. And that was a huge inspiration for me to just, you know, it, that it is possible to do it. And I was like, oh, my grandfather, he has, you know, land and forest, why can't I do that? So, and then I just uh, went extreme and <laughs> basically did it. Yo, shout out you, gang. Good for you, my boy. A week. Our final character was our most uncertain one and our biggest adventure. Oh, yeah, I had to sail tight shit. Well, we are approaching Mrs. Rino's island, and it's much bigger than I thought it was, actually. She's got a lot. No. No, one person does not own this entire island, no. Out of space for being on her own. I'm getting a little nervous now that we're approaching and we don't know if she's there and if she's gonna be interested in seeing us. Mrs. Rino lives alone on an island in Greece and she's been alone here for a decade. Alone on an island? Yo. Bro, oh, the amount of shit I do. Nah, but I'd be scared when it's nighttime, bro. I'd be absolutely petrified at night. Alone on an island, I don't know, that's fake lit, bro. Cause you feel me, it's my own island. I'm about to invite all my family. We all gonna live there, you know, if they want to. I don't know. Why she's alone and how she survives on the island is unclear. And unfortunately, how does she despite our best efforts, we weren't able to contact her. So we'd be flying just... all the way to remote Greek islands, taking ferries. This is the ferry to get to the island that we're leaving from. And chartering a sailboat. Right. Thomas. Thomas. All the way to her, only in the hopes that she'll actually be there and be willing to receive us. So y'all didn't even speak to her now. Like this is this is the world's loneliest person. The strangest approach. I think I've ever done to a home before of a stranger. Row ourselves in. Yeah. She doesn't know we're coming, so. <laughs> row, row, row the boat gently down the... Like, what if she's a... Com <laughs> what if she's a complete dickhead we're and just at doesn't want to see any of yeah. By a little raft, and she doesn't know we're coming. What if she has I a gun there? she welcomes visitor, like, that that's a good thing for her. Not an annoying thing. This is so bizarre that we are just here. It's like a pirate entering up and I also immediately feel like I'm in her home. Oh, she's a W. Oh, what's her name? Wait, what's her name? So, yeah, so Stikanis. Kala, kala. Oh, kala, kala. Kyo Kori. 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 I completely love cats, but you know, that just goes to prove that dogs are better than cats. Like, burning, actually. Why are you barefoot, man? Like, everybody else has sandals. You're the only person with no sandals. Picanis, Mrs. Renew, how was your day today? Too hot. We are too hot. Okay. Yeah, we're just very happy. W English speaking. She's this welcoming. Oh, she's so sweet. Starting with that, yeah. Oh, she's like, I thank you for coming out of nowhere, like from everywhere in the place to just see me. So I thank you. Hello, my friends. As we continue learning about these high. Or on, but do you think that she goes to the other side of the island? You know what I'm saying? Like, think about it as like the moon, like the dark side of the moon. Like, you think she goes to the other side of the island? She just stays right there. I mean, she's 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 a little old, you know, so I don't think she's gonna be walking that much. So like, imagine all the other shit that's happening on the other side. You feel me? 
really unique individuals. I quickly wanted to tell you about the sponsor enabling today's video. Your first month. Now back to the adventure. Gotcha. I landed on it perfectly. I don't know why I went back. How long? Have you been living like this? He left when he was 23. Wait, he was thrown out? My fault, my fault, my fault. He was thrown out the crib? What the heck? My capito. You never know. Se viene il 31 gennaio, sono 20 anni che non vado in paese. And you're 21st, 20 years since you've been in the town. No, no. Di notte qualche volta. Yeah, all the voices. Ma è un po' triste magari, ma al mattino quando vedo le mie pecore mi passa tutto. How has he been able to, I guess, find peace being alone? Because I think ultimately you can be surrounded by people and still feel lonely. Facts. I mean, keep it a buck. Keep it a buck. Like, I'm like, I'm like, okay being alone. But like, I guess not completely isolated. Like I was saying earlier that I'd love to be in an island all by myself. But like by myself, nah. I was really like, that's why I said I would bring my family over, you know. Because... Like, not only, yeah, not only would I be by myself, I literally, like, I would probably go insane. Even though a lot of times I like, I like being isolated. Like, I like my own, like, you know, like, I like being alone at times. I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be good being alone, like, all the time. You feel what I'm saying? But most of the times I'm fine being alone. What kind of interesting ways has he found to spend his, his time? Okay. Physical, mechanical, design, technical, Poi sono messo a studiare il cinese. Il cinese? Yeah, you're saying that he's learning Chinese. Hey. Yeah. What? Chinese? Yeah. <laughs> wow. Mm -hmm. Is he the most interesting man in the world? In cinese, bere vino. E un tao giro. Bere vino. Sei appassionato di cinese? Yes. Sto inventando gli cinque freni. Okay. <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> Tell him I want to go to school of Flaminio. <laughs> He's invented skis with brakes. Who else has done that? Nobody has done that. Oh, oh man. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, he's an event. Like he's, he's Da Vinci. Yeah. It's actually the only thing I can't eat on the planet. Well, I'm really What? Wow. Oh, those are this tough. Is so waggy. He's already moved on to the next thing. We are in his world now. Oh, this is where he's sneaking. He's mad excited. Wow. He looked like a little kid, like excited to like. I feel like I'm traveling back in time. Oh, look at that spider. Oh, there's no curries there, gang. He needs the spider? Because he gets the mosquitoes. Oh. I think so. Genius! <laughs> He's way ahead of every single one of us. Yeah, he's mad smart. This is, this is his mosquito repellent. Yeah. He walks straight into the spider's net and it's attached to his head now. There's no concern for it. <laughs> yo, he's really, yo, he's really... It used to feel so peaceful here. He's like, him, bro. Like yeah. My body used to went from zoom. 
yeah like on a different level i mean you're not going on the internet or anything like there's no tv no, i mean no, not yeah there. i don't have any electricity obviously i have a phone on me but uh no this is not always reception <laughs> yeah oh you post i i'm curious about how what people around you thought, like your friends. Did you feel any kind of judgment or did you feel very supportive? Like I was crazy. <laughs> really? <laughs> was I uh, like dropped as a child <laughs> something like that. Like, are you gonna do it by hand, like with hand tools? Like who does that nowadays? <laughs> like, But a lot of people were supportive, of course, my family and stuff like that. Right. But the idea behind it was that I, w I really didn't want to be de dependent on really anything. Like when you use a chainsaw, you have to be dependent on uh, gas. So with hand tools, you only have to really be dependent on your own energy. But the biggest the perk of it all was gaining all the skills, the knowledge. Hold on, so you do everything. To, like go away in our mm -hmm. generation. And so you chop you know, everything by hand again? Social media. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's a little bit interesting yeah. because I didn't have, you know, Instagram or, or anything when I started. I was quite against it. Uh, now that I've done it, I've seen also, of course, the advantages to it. My biggest inspiration now is to inspire people like the way I got inspired yeah. by okay. the documentaries yeah. that I watched. Okay. Uh, so now I, I really fuck like, with him. What's his name again? The same thing, hopefully. Nice, dude. I really you fuck with him. You see that you don't have to rely on anyone else then? Uh, does that make you feel alone or lonely in any way? Uh, no, not actually that lonely, but I have to say that I was, was a little bit lonely uh, just about one year ago okay. when I've been out there, you know, like three plus years, then I started to feel like, okay, I'm a bit alone out there. Mm -hmm. So now I actually have a girlfriend. Okay. So that's, uh, that's really nice. <laughs> but there's okay, also, wow. of course, a difference be uh, b between being alone and feeling lonely. Mm -hmm. Like, I didn't really okay. feel lonely, but I, I was, of course, alone. Mm -hmm. So, okay. uh, I mean, I love that. I think there's solitude and loneliness don't have to come together. There are people who are lonely, who are surrounded by people who live in cities, who yeah, even exactly. have friends and mm. they still don't feel like they can be yeah. themselves in mm. that group and feel lonely. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, speak. <laughs> Keep speaking, bro. <laughs> Let's say things go a little haywire. Then can Four we of come us, yeah, get in a car. <laughs> yeah. If we drive up here and, you know, happen to come to this exact spot, yeah. is there extra room by any chance? Uh, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> sure, we'll build it right right yeah, next to you yeah, yeah. and we'll feel safe with Eric in Eric's hand because I don't know how to do <laughs> shit, so. Like, Yo, Eric, did you catch any boar? <laughs> What an experience and what a life to choose. I think many do have this intuition that too much technology is not good for us. And anytime you come back yeah. out in nature, it's this breath, breath of fresh air. Ironic, right? Of, ah, this is where we've been. Yeah. This is what yeah, was exactly. home for so long. Cities have amazing qualities and benefits, but you need to balance it with time out in nature like this. And it's the feel. Carrots, onions. What else do you grow here? Potatoes. Potatoes? Uh, beets, salad. Beans. I thought carrots and beans grew in cans. Or just grocery stores. I thought they just came out of grocery stores. Interesting. Not far for being too quiet no, for me. I'm just food. I'm so fake taking all this shit in. You too? Want to shop some firewood? Yeah. yeah. It would be an honor. Yeah, I wanna try some firewood. <laughs> you had the best yeah. talent. Yeah, <laughs> great. Uh <laughs> Eric. <laughs> Okay. What Ooh, the? me something then, Eric. Dude. Oh, your turn. Teach me something then, Eric. Soya. Ah! <laughs> okay. That little ass piece of wood. We're in heaven, okay. guys. Yep. With our dad who's here. Our dad is somehow younger than all of us, but <laughs> yeah. uh, he's taking great care of us. <laughs> Eric, you have very good uh, daddy qualities. Of, uh, hey, yo! You didn't have to make this weird. <laughs> We're all having a good time. <laughs> no, he's leaving. No, he's nah, leaving. Nah, hey, yo. He's like, I can't. Nah, hey, yo. <laughs> Yo, she really got a whole <laughs> island, bro. <laughs> her father passed away. She just came here and stayed here with her husband, not by herself. And then her husband also died, Damn. and that made her also like a bit emotional. Now mm. saying it. Has she been living alone the last five years? <laughs> Damn, seven or ten. Damn. Oh yes. Okay. Oh yeah. That's what I was about to ask. Does she have any? Ah. Oh, he stays two or three months. That's fine. Leaving the island. And she better make yo. If she starts crying on this. What is a day in her life 
look like here. Τι κάνετε δηλαδή σε ένα 24 ώρο, πώ ξυπνάτε, πώ ξεκινάει η μέρα σα. Εγώ ξυπνάω από τι 2 τη νύχτα. Αλήθεια, σου λέει από 2 η.m. Αλλά δεν βλέπω να βγω ξανακάνω τίποτα. Πώ ή δεν σα αφήνει κάτι outside. This is what I said I'd be afraid of. Okay. By 12, you're already up for 10 hours. Okay. And then you go back. So you just sleep the whole. The more time we spent with these three incredible humans, so the more she just sleeps the entire the entire day. They've all experienced loneliness, but somehow eventually found peace, joy, and laughter in the simple daily tasks around them. Their sense of purpose in taking care of their animals or building, and lots of time spent outdoors seems to have greatly contributed to that lightness in their spirits. But she seems to be quite content being here alone. Does she have any advice for people that? Might be experiencing loneliness. Let me know Making her blush. Mm. I feel like out of all three of these people, the most like the most realistic scenario that I'd be in is probably his. Cause he fake got like a whole village right there. So I don't know. Like I like being lonely, but my idea of loneliness is like I guess some human interaction from time to time. So I guess not, I guess not completely lonely. Bro, why does my hair look like that? Yeah. So yeah, I guess not completely lonely, but like, like, I guess like seeing what goes down in the city for me, like, like oh, that's interesting. But being alone in the woods, probably not. Like, I, of course I'd like to be camping and shit, but being alone in the woods at night, stop it, stop it. And then having a my own island by myself, I probably that'd probably be the second possibility for me. I just I just need to have internet. I don't know. You know what? I don't know. I just don't know. Like I, it's weird. Like the way my loneliness is like you know, um, fitting for me. Like I could dead be lonely. Like I I could be alone. Like I, at times I feel comfort in being alone, but at the same time, at times I don't want to be alone. I, but I don't know how to explain it. Oh, this is where he makes the food. What is this? Uh, he's he's kitchen. Chinese and he writes on the wall to practice. <laughs> Wait. Pilau de stanco. Nah, he's mad funny. He seems fully self-sufficient because he grows his own food. He's got mm -hmm. a stream of running water. Hey, bro! <laughs> Whoa! Boom! What did he say? Today it's raining tomorrow. Oh, that's he the coolest thing I've ever seen. You can just look at the sky and know it's gonna rain tomorrow. Yeah, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> He's right. He's right? What does he know? How does he know? What is he doing? He's gonna tell us the time. Yeah, exactly 11 exactly. Nah, nah, no, no. no. Hey, justissimo. Perfecto. Wow. He just nah, nah, how do you do that one? Sun. Oh, okay. He came up with the craziest things. Like he's got an invention for everything. But also just like these ancient methods and the way that he sharpens his knife and the way that he creates flour, all of that, these things is just, we just don't do it anymore ourselves. Yo, he's really self-sufficient and doesn't go into town. 
Yeah. He's had to find a way to do it here. Shocked that he was on the minute. I thought he would be like, eh, 11.30 maybe? Like around 11.30? He said 11.35 no. and it was exactly 11.35. Yeah, exactly. Like how the fuck did he do that shit? It feels like it's your Like baby. I understand he had that bull and shit and he said, oh, one, two, three, and like the lines and shit. But how the fuck did you even guess it as you were doing the lines, bro? Like as you made that bowl. Like you had to have had a clock and you was like, okay, this line is going to be one. This line is going to be two. Like, I no, bro, I cannot comprehend how he did that. 11.35 exact? Nah, I can't. Peace. <laughs> bro, I want shrimp now. I don't know why. Her bucket looks exactly like that. <laughs> I, I swear. I logo for a second. Okay, so what, what is she gonna do now? We're gonna collect the cacti. Yeah. These ones you can eat. Oh, yeah, you could dead ass eat cactus. Ah. Cacti. Yeah, that's cool. What the fuck is this? Mm. Wow, that's fresh. Mrs. Rinu, <laughs> fantastico. <laughs> can you say uh, subscribe? Subscribe. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. <laughs> yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you. I love her. Perfect. We do want to give her a hug. Subscribe, actually. So, we're hoping to hit 9 million this year. So, help us to get to 9 million before the end of the year. Yesterday he doesn't have 7 million subscribers. Chipuro. Chipuro. What did she say? If we want to drink Chipuro, the liquor. Every elderly person I've met has offered me liquor. I don't know what's going on here. Yeah. Very good. Now, did we have to drink? Nah, they be getting lit, bro. First it was my, bro. I need to remember their names. First it was my man's, who's in Italy. He be getting drunk as fuck. He wanted to drink wine at nine in the morning. Wine for breakfast. Now she be getting lit too. Are those mushrooms? Yeah, you a real Viking, Eric. Nah, this is making me way too hungry right now. <laughs> I'm so hungry right now. Oh. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving, <laughs> by the way. Whoa. Oh my god. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Seek discomfort is no longer the theme of the channel. It's I drink with elder, elders. <laughs> 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 okay. Whoa. Did you try that? Yeah. It was fish. I don't know. I don't drink like that, bro, but like Like I only I only drink on occasion. Like when I go to parties and shit. I never had no drink to wash down my food, bro. Wow, that's real good. And these are these are the <laughs> the best potatoes to eat right from the ground. Look at his so dog. Much, so yeah. And these are these are. <laughs> Yo, his dog is fiending for some food. <laughs> nah, the yo, give him a. <laughs> There's so much more delicious. Yeah, it's so that. tasteful. Yeah, it's like a whole other world. Yo, give him a mm -hmm. piece, bro. <laughs> That shit looks so good, bro. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving again, by the way. Yo, I'm so hungry. Environment for many years. How has it impacted you as a person? Uh, actually, it has made me less shy, strangely enough. Back in the day, I had like more social like anxiety and stuff like that. So strangely enough, by removing me completely from other people, it, I actually gained more like confidence. I think it's probably it's because I got the confidence that I can do stuff with YouTube and stuff okay. like that. I, Right. Grown more confident and uh, more able to speak with people and express myself. The table is getting cleaned up, yeah. <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Thank you so much for yeah, letting us into your world. Yeah, right. A privilege. Uh, Write in the nice. comment section, I want the coordinates. No, no, no. No coordinates. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Meeting people like I'm Eric glad he really got a girl too. On their own path forces me to look at my own life and wonder what aspects I could be more intentional about. Ending up alone is sadly not always a choice, but it is possible to embrace moments of solitude and find our way back more connected to who we really are. Uh, yeah, I came to the realization it is better to have people around. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, it's also a good life lesson to be on your own. I mm -hmm. felt a lot of like really true happiness of being on my own. Yeah, oh. facts. <laughs> so I'll miss you. <laughs> but uh, you're in a fort. <laughs> This is, yo, this is making me sad, bro. This is making me sad, bro. If you've ever felt lonely or even feel lonely today, I'd encourage you to take a page from Mrs. Zerino's book, whom, in the middle of a nap, opened her door to strangers. Despite being alone most days and weeks, she's clearly found a way to be more open to whatever life brings her. Strangers visiting or no one at all, she welcomes it with curiosity and a sense of humor. Bro, what Strangers the fuck visiting, is... she's clearly found a way to be more open to whatever life brings her. What? I even see this. I even see this nigga right here, bro. Who, who, who the fuck are these people? What? Like what, bro? Strangers visiting or no one at all, she welcomes it with curiosity and a sense of humor. Yeah, that she's, open she's cool. With the pride she feels to fulfill her, her promise to her father of safekeeping the island is definitely what I believe has kept her so joyful all these years. Flaminio to me seems like someone who's had to Flaminio. overcome a lot of sadness, yet found peace through his work with his sheep and kept his mind busy. Why? Yo, <laughs> what is going on in these, in these, in these, in these ones, bro? Like, yet found peace in these clips. Like, why he just slingshot his own sheep? Through his work with his sheep and kept his and he dead yo he got good aim bro mind busy why he do that for my personal belief is that there is something beyond what we know and what we see that connects us a collective consciousness of sorts the longing for connection is therefore a universal human truth loneliness is a natural symptom of feeling disconnected from our own sense of humanity and from others some of us may see connection more than others but ultimately no matter who you are or where you live I hope that you remember that there are people out there waiting to make a friend just like you. Don't let okay. a chapter of sadness make you believe otherwise. Okay. Okay, yes, theory. Okay. I saw I haven't even watched. Um, yo, bro, how do I turn off like autoplay? Oh no, it's what it's watch it's watch later, so it automatically plays. <laughs> My fault. We all uh, why did why I press play? Anyways, this is a great, great video. Yes, theory. This is a fantastic video. I loved it a, a lot, a lot. It made me question about how I look at my loneliness. My loneliness. I can't speak English. I said loneliness. But um, yeah, yeah. The world's loneliest person is literally me.